Welcome to the Boxing Locker. I am Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach. And in this, my Boxing 101 series today, I'm going to move on to a subject that is one of the internet's most contentious topics. And that is, in fact, how to throw a lead hook. All right. Do we pivot? Don't we pivot? Here's the thing. I'm going to ignore that completely, show you how I throw the punch and discuss that pivot in a whole nother video. <laughs> A lot of coaches is I'll teach you how to throw this straight off the cross. So we're going to start like that because it's an effective way uh, as a beginner to get into this. So I've just thrown that right hand straight, yeah? Now what I'm going to look at doing is bringing this hand back to my face and getting my arm up here. Now this is just the basic fundamentals of the movement. Now, the foot pivot is essentially the last thing in the punch anyway. So we don't even really need to discuss it till we get to that point. So I'm here and then I rotate round. That's how you throw the punch. Now, do we pivot further? Don't we pivot further? That's a question for another day. I throw the cross, I get into that nice position that we talked about before, and now I'm looking to come across with the hook. So the arm comes out. I don't want to bring the arm back, I want to bring the arm out, and then as I bring this arm in, I snap back and I rotate. See that foot pivot there? Did it add anything? Who knows? So I get in my position here, and then I whip it back round. Now, what's important with the hook is that I don't go too far past the point of impact, okay? I want to clear that point of impact by three to six inches that's hopefully only about that much right so we don't want to go too far past there yeah if i carry that punch too far past the next punch is delayed and it's a lot easier to counter me should i miss now if i come from that cross again and i whip that shot back round my weight drops into my feet my elbow in line with my fist wrist arced inwards so i'm landing with those big knuckles chin tucked behind shoulder non-punch in hand which is the rear hand in this instance Tuck nice and close to the chin. Okay? So retract from there, whip it round. Now if I do that with no cross as I just did, I come to here, the arm comes out, my body rotates round. So it's actually a really simple punch, you don't have to complicate it. As with all things, it's simple drills for simple skills. The easier you make it for yourself, the easier it is to throw it when it comes to a combat scenario. Southpaw, the left hand extends out, I'm in my position. Now all I'm gonna do is load that hip and shoulder back and I come across, elbow, fist, shoulder tucks up, protecting the chin, nice and balanced, ready to work again, should I want to throw any more punches, right? So, what is the function of the lead hook? The lead hook is a, is a combination punch generally, it can be used to redirect an opponent, it can be used to draw attention away from a specific point that you are trying to impact, and it is also one of the two hardest punches in boxing, because the hooks, the lead and rear hook, are the two hardest shots, um, different adaptations and variations of those can change that fact, but it is a power shot. So we want to be throwing this nicely, make sure we're not leaving ourselves vulnerable when we do, right? That's why I make sure my weight sits back into my legs. I don't want to be overcommitted onto the back leg. I see a lot of guys talk about putting your weight from front foot to back foot. As with all things, we get on that back leg, if we get hit, yeah, we're presuming always that we're unsuccessful. It's more important to presume you've been unsuccessful so you can address a weakness in what you've done than it is to do it the other way around. So I've been unsuccessful, I've missed the shot, I'm over here, what happens now with all my weight over this back leg? I get hit, you're gonna get knocked all over the place, right? So it's really important that as I drop back, throw that shot, say I miss, I'm in here, I've missed, my opponent's rolled, I'm still there to work and just keep coming back into that spot all the time. My head can move off the center line without my weight distribution changing, right? There we have it guys, so that is how to throw the lead hook, right? The lead hook, remember the key fundamental thing to learn is the rotation of your hips and shoulders, that your weight sits back into your legs, so you're using your knees to give you more stability, and that you're landing with the big knuckles, right? A lot of guys now coming from the amateur days are landing with the white part of the amateur glove, right? That's these knuckles, it's gonna do very, very little damage. It's much more important that you come round with the big knuckles, you really arc it into the chin and drive it into specific points of impact. Thank you for tuning in. As I spoke about, the next video I'm going to mention uh, is the uh, lead foot hook, uh, lead foot pivot on the hook, whether we do, whether we don't, and I'll talk about that briefly. So make sure you subscribe, check out uh, that video when it comes up. Don't forget to like, leave comments, all that kind of good stuff, and I'll discuss it with you there. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, and I'll see you for the next one.